All right, fam, I'm just gonna be real here. This has not been our year, and I need to know which one of y'all done made God mad. You can go ahead and fess up to it. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing to you. I kid you not, y'all. I went into this year being like, ooh, 2020 vision. I'm gonna write my journal. Is it possible to just leave a year? Because if it is possible, I would like to do so right now. I'm trying to I've gained weight because I live in California and all the gyms are closed. Trump's got me all messed up because he wanted to go full KKK. And you know what? I don't have time for it. I don't have time for it. But you know what makes me feel better? I'm not the only one going through this. And you know what? Neither are you. So let's talk about this year and see if we can work through some of this ish together. By any means necessary. So let's start off with something that everybody can relate to. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop the video. Oh, so y'all just want to sit and watch my videos and not support me by clicking that like button and subscribing to my page? According to YouTube, 82% of y'all who watch this channel haven't subscribed yet. Hmm. All right, back to the video. Quarantine. So you know how you be strolling on Facebook sometimes and you'll be laughing, you'll see some meme, and then all of a sudden you see something really sad? And you're like, oh. But then you'll keep scrolling, you know, more funny memes. That was me this year. You know, when I first heard of Corona, I was like, oh, dang, that's sad. Like I was on Facebook and I saw this this video of a mom and a, and a daughter having to stand like 10 feet apart and they are crying. It was really, really sad. But I was like, you know what? It's not gonna come here. I'm fine. Little did I know. Literally all of my plans, and I'm sure a lot of y'all's as well, have been completely uprooted this year. I've never had to pivot so hard in my life. But you know what? It's made me better. It's made me brush up on some skills I haven't thought about brushing up on. But you know what hasn't made me better? Trump. The man with the little hands has really ratcheted up his racist tropes this year, and it's had a huge effect on me and i'm sure it's had an effect on y'all too this man has literally tried to start another civil war and it's been stressing me the hell out like i'm in control of this country or something we're just out here trying to protest for our rights and to be valued as equal citizens in this country and this man is out here posting tweets like when the looting starts the shooting starts and talking about how there's too many minorities in the suburbs and cory books trying to take it over you know what i've got a confession I've just been blocking Trump supporters. You know why? I don't need that stress in my life. If they can support that man as president, you know what? They can go ahead and peace out. I'm good with that. And finally, to the worst and most serious part of this year, the deaths. We've lost a lot of important people this year. We've lost Kobe, John Lewis, Elijah Cummings, Katherine Johnson, Little Richard, Bill Withers, Chadwick Boseman, and of course, it's been another year full of murder by the police and the wannabe police, including the murders of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Ahmaud Arbery, Richard Brooks, and so many more whose names that we'll never know. But not only those deaths, but also the more than 35,000 black lives taken by COVID-19. This year's been a lot, and it seems like it hasn't even let up since the beginning of the year. But I do want to remind us that although we've been surrounded by death this year, death is not the end. Our ancestors walk with us daily and their memory gives us strength. I know exactly what it's like to feel like you just want to phone it in for the rest of the year, but just don't. To re-emphasize, we are not alone and we've never been alone. We'll make it through 2020, just like we made it through 1920, just like we made it through 1820, and just like we made it through all the 20s before then. Collective strength. Until next time, y'all. Stay young, stay black, stay optimistic. <laughs>